Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video on how to remove and replace a visor on an Arai Extend. Now a lot of people find this visor mechanism quite tricky to use and I'm not going to lie it isn't the easiest out there. Uh, but hopefully watching this video will uh, demonstrate to you how it's to be done and should make it much easier for you next time. The reason most people find it hard is because this side pod is actually part of the visor. So when we're removing it and replacing it, we can't actually see what's going on behind it. So an element of uh, estimation is involved, uh, lining everything up before we actually try and locate the visor under the helmet. But the first thing we need to do is open up the visor. And there's a small lug on the helmet just behind this plate here. This locks the visor in a closed position to stop the wind lifting it when you're actually wearing it out on the bike. So to open it, we're going to take hold of the corner. We're going to lift it away from the helmet and then up. And that will open the visor up for us. And there's that lug I mentioned there. Now just above it, there's a, a lever arm here. We're going to slide this towards the front of the helmet until it clicks. We're then going to let go of it, and that's its job done. We're going to take hold of the visor, top and bottom, and we're going to give it a good wiggle and a pull, and it will be released. Now you do have to be quite firm uh, with this, because there are a lot of lugs in there located, so we've got to dislocate all of those for it to be removed. But obviously you don't want to be too firm uh, to break it, so I would say be firm, but not uh, brutal, uh, so to speak, with it. But let's give it a go and, and see what happens. So we're going to slide that forward. Hopefully, you heard that click. Then take hold of the helmet and the visor, give it a good pull, and off it comes. Exactly the same on this side. Now, because we've released one side already, this side should come off a little bit easier because there's a bit of flex in the visor. But so we're going to click that first, let go of it, take hold, and there we go. That's the visor removed. Now we get a good look at the, uh, the base plate of the helmet. There isn't that much going on, but when we look at the inside of the visor, you can see there certainly is. Lots of different lugs to uh, locate and put back into place. The only one that we're going to actually get correctly into place before we attempt to uh, reattach the visor is the one that sticks right at the top of the base plate here, that overhangs the rest of the base plate. Now when we look at the inside of the visor, there's this large lug running up the height of the side pod and then there's a small recess at the very bottom here. Now this lug needs to be located correctly in there before we do anything else. Once it's located in there, we can line the pivot point up and the other lugs approximately where we need them. We're then going to push the visor towards the helmet and slightly rock it into a, into a closed position and you should hear everything click into place. So. Line that up first, like so. I'm going to give it a good push, and I'm going to close it, like so, and that's that side done. Now we'll do the same on this side. Obviously, we close the visor slightly on that side, so I'm going to just open it up again because it needs to be in a totally open position, and it will give you a bit of flex in the visor as well. So we're going to locate that one lug first. I'm going to line everything else up roughly, give it a good push close the visor and there we have it, that's both sides back on. Just open and close the visor, make sure it's working smoothly, completely close the visor, make sure it's seated on the visor seal correctly and there we have it. Tricky, but not as tricky when you know how. That's how you change a visor on an Arai Extend. 